editing your photos. Thank you for the question about how I edit my photographs. So I'm going to do a short video on that and I wanted to do it in a pretty place. Here I am in Cambria. So I'm going to give you my top three tips for successful editing. Number one, be brutal. Um, here's what I do. I look at every single shoot that I do, usually right away. So I download my files, my photo files, from my camera, my Canon camera, and then I look at them. And the ones that strike me as quite exceptional, then I will label those and those will go to the top because they're labeled and they're not just numbers. You could also do another system like zero, one, zero, two. Um, and the point of that is you have a folder, say you went to the Grand Canyon and you put all your files in there of the Grand Canyon. Um, the ones that you like the best will be at the top. And then, you know, if there's hundreds, you don't have to do it all in one go, but it is nice to see what you took because you learn a lot by looking at your pictures. Now, um, the rest of the pictures, there's going to be several that are very similar and you want to study those very closely. And how I do this is it's more about my feelings. Um, if I get a feeling about a picture, because photography is very emotional, then I know that that's a good picture. Sometimes even technically it could be not such a great picture, but because you have an emotional hit from it, that makes it a good picture. And it isn't just because it's some personal thing. Anybody would have an emotional, most people probably would have a feeling from it. So of course you want to test that out in an exhibition or if someone's buying your pictures or interested. Because let me tell you this, no one wants to see you go through 500 pictures to find the one good one you took. So this way you eliminate all that. You don't show anybody your also rans and your rejects. You just don't. So what I want you to do is find your gems and that's one way to find them. So you label them right away and they're in that file. You could put them in a separate file if you wanted to, um, but I don't because I like to go, oh, the Grand Canyon. I'll go find that file. Okay, now don't forget to get rid of the ones that aren't really good. Now I have a lot of pictures on my iPhone videos too. Um, and those take looking at. Okay, so I don't keep my Canon pictures in the cloud. I just keep my iPhone pictures in the cloud. And you can too if you want. Um, but I have a lot of photos and videos that I do throughout the day. So I keep those in the cloud. And then my Canon pictures, I download to an external hard drive. So those are on there and they're in a separate folder. Each shoot is a separate folder. So I like to put the Grand Canyon pictures together, the Sedona, Arizona pictures together. Um, so I do it by place. Um, if I do a professional photography shoot, like a family portrait, I'll put the name of the family and then I'll pick up my favorites, um, which I don't do anymore because I give all the files to the client at the shoot. So I don't go through them anymore. Um, but I do sit down and look at the files with the client and make sure they transfer onto their computer. Um, so, be brutal with your editing. You'll find some really beautiful pictures. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and this has nothing to do with Photoshop because I don't even use it anymore. I used it when I transferred film to digital files, um, but I haven't done an exhibition in a while and it would be fun to do. Um, so I just use the... Uh, what do I use? iPhoto? Yeah, I just need a little twitch here and there of light or saturation. That's it. 
and I don't do any digital adjusting, like taking out a cow <laughs> or a camel from a picture behind somebody's head. Um, so it does take hours. So don't think this is gonna take five minutes. It takes a long time, but as you can see, I'm in business, so this is something I do, but I'm trying to teach people that you do have to devote time to look at your pictures because you actually learn a lot from the bad pictures. You wanna study why they're bad in terms of angle, light, composition, timing. So one or all of those will be off. And you can identify that when you look at the picture and go, oh, that doesn't look that good, why? Ask yourself why it doesn't, and then you'll be on the road to taking better pictures um, and getting rid of those ugly ones. So, have fun, and if you have any questions, uh, you can put them down below.